of information. Um, I'm going to talk from the perspective of social networking. Are you guys familiar with that concept of social networking? A lot of people, when they hear social networking, they might think Twitter or Facebook. Um, but it's basically using the internet to connect with people, to talk with your friends, to meet up with new people. And I'm approaching this from that perspective, from the social networking perspective, because I could tell you about, you know, 50 great sites today that could all be gone tomorrow. The internet is a constantly changing thing. And every day it's new and different, and sites that you thought you knew are getting new features and changing. So what I'd like to do is present you with some strategies on how to continue to get all the best sites. And I think that social networking is the best way to approach this. So I'm coming at this from, uh, from the social networking perspective so that you not only get some good start sites to start off with today, but that you can continue to get great sites as you, uh, as you continue with your crafting. So I've got a handout. The handout has all the sites that I'm going to be talking about at the end of it. So the first site that I have um, listed is Meetup. Oh, got it. Meetup.com is a great site for not only crafting, but for sort of anything that you want to do with anybody besides yourself. Um, all you have to do is type in, as you can see from the screenshot, type in your subject, your interest, and your zip code, and you're set to go. So whether you put in crochet or golfing, it can bring up a group of people who are interested in doing that same thing. And this is great for face-to-face um, for -face meetups, mostly, for uh, groups that are actually meeting in the physical space. So if you want to be knitting with some people, or if you'd like to be quilting with others, going to a place like meetup.com is a great place to find other people who are doing what you're doing in the place that you're doing it. Also, if you're doing it on your own and you can't find a group, it's also a really easy way to start one up and get people going in that way as well. So, meetup.com. Okay. <laughs>